YouTube and welcome into some Let's Play Civilization 6. Um, I hope you guys didn't miss anything. We had a little snafu with the internet going down and having to reload this turn. So I, I, I hope I didn't do anything last turn. That's uh, that, that's weird. Whatever. I do want to buy these tiles. Uh, this is our this is our potential Ruhr Valley city. So so them having every single tile available to them is rather important. So we're gonna go ahead and purchase those. Um, and then, yeah, we, I just looked and, uh, actually Rush is in a dark age here. So this could very well be flipping to us. Uh, we're almost at population. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to, I'm going to harvest it after we grow. Don't think that matters, but we're going to wait one turn on it. Uh, and now we can get this Hansa here starts as plus three only gets better, which is fantastic. We need builders. We need all the things. Um, I can get rid of this. We got the Petra, we got pyramids. So we're off and running as far as some. As far as some wonders go. And yeah, we're going to send some troops down here to maybe take this city if it's not ours. Um, is Russia in a normal age? I thought it's a dark for them. Oh, you're right. It is a normal age. For, I, I was thinking it was dark. It's it's Gilgamesh who's in a dark, which is why he's falling. But yeah, you're right. It is normal. So, so normal age versus normal age. So I will have to uh, up the city to at least four. Um, and that's why we'll send a couple troops down here to maybe help. I'm not applying pressure anywhere else. So, anyways, um, I'd love to buy out to this, but I can't at the moment. I could just get them going with the granary. Seems okay. Hey, Igu Iguana Soup. Thank you for the brand new Prime. Welcome on in. Thank you. Why did I do ranks? I wanted to do <laughs> Thank you, Iguana Soup. I appreciate that. Thanks for spending your Prime sub here. It means a great deal to me. Government-wise, yeah, we need to... Oh, yeah, we're building some units so that we can get our trigger for mercenaries. And I think this archer is the last one we need. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is indeed the last one we need. Um, so that's good. So two turns, and we'll, we'll trigger mercenaries. I think we can go one more turn into it. How have we not triggered that yet? Put one more turn into medieval affairs, and we'll see where we go from there. All right, and we have some barb issues over here that we're going to attempt to deal with with scouts because we're geniuses. We have two envoys available. Am I running? No. Uh, we missed out on, on Hypatia, which makes me sad. Got got uh, got faith faith bot from from Dido, so that's a little bit of a bummer. Um, don't think we're working on projects anywhere else. Campus, market, yeah, all these are fine. These guys have their Hanzas already. So those will, again, will only get better. And now we do our turn 100 save. Hey, Draco, thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime as well. Welcome on in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy the emotes. Uh, looking forward to doing an e emote refresh this spring sometime. Okay, um, I don't want to totally abandon my forces up here. Not that I have a whole lot, uh, but he is still a bit of a threat. <laughs> I did it. I remembered for once, Thalia. Uh, and here we are at pop two. We can go boop and make it pop three. Uh, and then we can check out our loyalty lens and see where your loyalty lies, my friend. Yeah, see, he's got more pressure just in general coming from his other city. So it's probably going to go to him. So I think I will need some troops to take that. So I don't have much, uh, but we'll see what we can do. You never watch Community? <laughs> Are you banned? No, 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 no. But you should. It's a fantastic show. Yeah, I, I suggest diving into it when you need like a feel-good show. Because like it's a funny show that like will get you at the end of an episode and be like, wait, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> it's really good. Hey, dwarves. How you doing? Oh, no worries, man. Thanks for thanks for hanging out. Thanks for lurking. Um, okay. What are are the goals now? Just Rur Valley straight up to Rur? Go to construction, get our lumber mills. Boop. All right. Yeah, we need all the builders. 
We should get some more of those soon. One more turn on this. So that should time out pretty close to perfect. I'd also love to drop this. All about them surprise feels. All about it. Although, never mind. Never mind. Getting this. Yeah. Um, maybe this one should go over yonder. Doesn't have a great road. Could maybe use that. I assume we'll be fighting swordsmen here. Okay. do need to buy out to this, too. I'm a little annoyed that he stole this from me. But I want to put a campus here. We could also put it uh, over here, and it's the same thing, plus three. So I guess it doesn't matter too much. As long as we get one of the two of those. Cardiff died. Get a flood. We lose two pop. That is sad. Right around our government plaza. That was, uh, that was population in the cap here, it looks like. All right, so that's our mercenaries, which is good. Hey, Joe Bags, how you doing? We'll send that down. So I'm going to get a few workshops. I don't think, I mean, I think we're early enough in the game that the workshops will pay for themselves. We'll see if that is ultimately a good idea or not. Um, and then I want to chop. Doesn't really matter. We didn't settle on a resource here. Can we lock in dams? Dams don't increase in um, cost, I don't believe. But yes, certainly can. What else can we eat? Yours. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's, we placed these both in the same turn, so their cost would be the same anyways. I don't think I'm planning any other ones. Is the DLC worth it? Yes. Yeah, the, uh, the, the final version of this game with all DLCs and things right now is fantastic. Highly recommend. I mean, don't get me wrong, you can have plenty of fun with the vanilla game or just the first expansion or whatever. Um, but yes, it is, it is well worth it. Do I just tech through this? Eh, put a little science into stirrups. We might need some knights. All right, so we are we are housing capped here. We need six more turns before we get the granary. So let's see. Just put farms, random spots. Uh, let's district here. Let's plan. If I have a four continent split, is that good? You know the answer to that. And it's no. <laughs> yes, that's fantastic. Uh, question meaning to be asked for a while ago. Uh, what are your suggested build focus? Wait, wait, wait. What's your suggested build focus in a game of Civ? Instantly build districts when available. Settlers over workers. What's the typical order of focus in your opinion? Uh, settlers first. Um, settlers and builders first. Uh, you want... You want, um, like you want your builders to clear resources, help you build districts by chopping things, uh, make sure you have enough housing for that city, quality tiles to work. Uh, so it's really settlers, builders, and then districts. Um, but locking in districts can help you uh, mitigate some of the delay t that, that I generally get to them. Um, but getting a couple early on t tends to be good. So it, it's kind of hard to say blindly. But yeah, that, that's my take on it, if that helps. Just going to build some farms for some housing for them. Again, we're looking to loyalty flip if if we can. Uh, so there's no reason to freak out if you're late in building districts. I mean, I would I would I guess my question would be how late. Um, but I'm I'm start I'm starting my hardcore districting now, um, and it's it's after turn 100. You, you, 
I wouldn't freak out. Uh, like if you even get into Merchant, remember that Merchant Republic gives you fifteen percent production towards districts. Um, so there's an argument to be made for just locking in your districts, expanding, economizing, doing whatever else. Um, as far as like builders and stuff go, and then starting your districts at exploration. Um, but that that really would hinge on a strong early culture, so that you're getting to exploration like around now, um, rather than like twenty turns from now, which is where I'm going to be at. My favorite big victory is culture, generally speaking. I like faith-inspired culture. It's plus three. Oh, because of his commercial hub. That's cute. Oh, I was thinking about Cheech in here as well. I just, I just cut a normal woods down. Um, I just could use the culture from the Chichen. Plus two over there. We can make a plus four and chop this. Hmm. I don't mind that. I could also just not get a Hansa. How do you avoid early game warps from the AI? Uh, just get get archers. Like honestly, like. Like, you can trick them into thinking your military is stronger than it is with a, f a few warriors. Um, but as far as actually defending yourselves, a few archers go a long, long way. I think I would rather... No, I'll get the dumb Hanza. All right, let's do this. And I'll override that since it's not a jungle tile. We will go for Cheech in there. Why not? Why the heck not? Um, don't really need this. Certainly don't need this at the moment. So we're looking at serfdom. Um, we are looking at what? Probably urban planning is still good and relevant. And then... Don't need this actually either. Could keep this going. What else could we do? Three envoys. It's not, it's not super good. Core King, holy cow, 19 months. <laughs> no, I see what you did there. <laughs> 19 months. 19, yes. Nine. 19. Thank you very much, Core King. Welcome on back. I appreciate the ongoing support. That is a long time and is much appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I guess I can make some archers with this. Again, making me feel slightly more confident that we're not going to just die. We also get the machinery boost, which is valuable. We can get some crossbows. <laughs> this guy needs to he needs to find a home. All right. Um. Okay. So, four trade routes. Gosh, we're so close. Going right into this dam. That's fine. Are we on marathon? No, this is standard speed. We are doing a marathon. We're playing all the Civ leaders on Deity. Uh, sorry about the confusion. Hello, hello, Jester. <laughs> well, I appreciate it very much, Court King. Thank you for continuing to support the channel, even if you can't be around too much. That that that, that That's a tremendous, tremendous help. All right, I, I think we tech through Medieval Fairs. We're 15 turns away from Merchant Republic. Um, so... Um, 
I mean, yeah. I, 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 maybe they'll get taken here, I guess. Alex is pretty likely to do that, but it's my best chance of, of keeping a science civ, I suppose. Is there any reason to go monarchy? No. Not, not in most games. There's a time and a place for just about everything in Civ. Um, so I, I, I sort of glibly say, say no in that I don't often head that route. Uh, the problem with the problem with these other two governments is it just like unless you're actually doing military things, um, like three military policy slots, it's, it's just too many. It's just too many, uh, especially because this is this is preceded by by a game in which you've likely gone for religious stuff. And that puts you even further behind as far as like science, and so your military is going to suck anyways. Um, you could, you could, we we used monarchy and the legacy card for it with Talmar, uh, just because she gets all three houses, and that's three more housing, and blah blah blah. But what's the time and a place for stone circles? Uh, when every when you're playing on like a like a like a fourteen player map, and and it's the only one left. Finishing our industrial zones. History is the version of past events that people have decided to agree upon. <laughs> There's a recorded history boost, so we can actually work this route. Two markets will happen soon. No, I, I still just want to beeline Merchant Republic. So now we're four of five. And then this is done in three. That's pretty decent. The question really becomes, do we want these workshops? So I'm going to spend 12 turns building it and forego like a market or a library. Like I could get the market and the library at almost the same time. These would these better my economy and give me the option of getting another trade route versus this makes producing these more efficient, but delays them by a good bit and then this doesn't pay for itself uh for another 65 turns and this is what this is when we get into the uh efficiency discussion now if we think this game is going to turn 250 then yeah 80 turns of having a workshop probably decent at the end of the game um versus just getting these done getting my my um my my second market eureka uh and things like that I think also makes sense. So I'm actually going to go for a market. Maybe we'll buy the workshop later once we get some gold. Here we for sure need the workshop. Hey, what's up, Demas? Oh, you're pretty close to on time. You've been live for 45 minutes or so. Um, Where's my... I don't really want to run this anymore. We can upgrade one more archer. It's fine. Usually not a big fan of inspiration, but I'm not really seeing other other um, other things that we want to run here. I guess just this, maybe, since we're behind. I could see that, actually. It's worth eight. It's decent at this stage of the game. Okay. Are we building workshops? We we sh we should really commit to this or not. <laughs> nice nice deck. Um I mean again, it's like we're looking at the payoff from the workshop around turn 180. Right, because 11 turns to build, and then 60 turns, 65 turns, 65 turns. So it's 70, 76 turns until this pays for itself. So if you're going for sub 200, that 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 leaves you with 21 turns of having a workshop. Does that does that make the difference? Really not sure. I guess we'll build them. I 
If you rate industrial zones low, why do you rate Nobel Prize so high? What do you mean, Draco? Like, like Christina's ability? Is that what you're talking about? Thank you so very much. Uh, welcome on back. Welcome on back to the shop. Good to have you here. Um, okay, so getting 50 diplomatic favor for recruiting any great person is fantastic. I don't rate this high because of the engineer points at all or or the science scientist portion of it either, really. Um, like 50 diplomatic favor for every great person. Like you can, can, you can just blatantly control the world Congress and win, win, win a Diplo victory if you want. Yeah. It has nothing to do with the engineer points. Thank you, my friend. Welcome on back. How you doing? What is happening? That's a fair question though. So if we're leaving all of the rainforest... We go chop that, then. No, no, it's it's a fair question, man. So where do we where do we hold up? Are we working in Germany? Oh, I'm so jealous. I want to go to Germany. I want to go hang out in Germany. I mean, I'm playing Germany, but you know what I mean. All right, so this has flipped. That is indeed Russia's symbol. Um, and it's happening in nine turns. Lost your passport on the way home. Yikes, man. Yikes, yikes, yikes. I don't think we're going to be able to take this. Not with my piddly little, my piddly little army. Um, we could Suzer in Mohenjo now, actually, and that would give them even more housing. They would be getting this tile. A tile doesn't mean anything to me. And then, like, one of those tiles next, which kind of do mean something to me a little bit. I'm gonna skip it. I don't think I don't think we're gonna be able to get it anyways. Let's save these envoys. So, these guys are going to chill here. Cool. That'll help our culture a good bit. We are population 11 up here, so it's a good place for Pingala to live. Although I don't have a campus or a theater square there at the moment. So the uh, great people point's not as relevant. As I want it to be. Gilgamesh got the great library. Turn 104. I think chopping for industrial zones, if you are choosing to use in industrial zones, is a pretty good idea. Uh, no, Batman. No. Uh, what seems have we played so far? Now, are we playing in any particular order? We are playing in any particular order. Uh, we are playing in chronological order from, like, when the Civ kind of existed. Uh, and we're here. Why did I think Tamar was next? Oh, man. I have to play him next. So, this will be going on for a while. Yeah, no for real. No for real. Do I want to pre-build some knights and try to take this? It's not. It's not, I'm not going to be able to do it in time. Hmm. Relic culture victory for Khmer? Maybe. 
I find that to be very specific and hard to reliably make happen. And I don't really want to buy these tiles. Like, while while I do kind of care about them, uh, I'd much rather be buying tiles for, like, districts that I need um, and things like that. It's the best victory to shoot for in J with Japan with no DLC. Uh, anything. Anything you want. Japan can do, can do culture, can do religion, can do science. Just because of uh, Miji Restoration. It's so good. Um, so, yeah. Anything you want. Really? This is the one I get? I guess it's better than that one. I have to build a holy site for it then? Hmm. Could build it right here, actually. It's not bad. It's a plus five holy site. Um, and then we get five science out of it as well. Let's see if it's the best information domination victory. Um, it's it pick from pick from Genghis, Aztecs, or Shaka. Uh, here it's just this. Uh, have I ever tried mi mixing in some unusual sieves and wind conditions like Germany with religion and Diplo? Uh, I mean, we can do stuff like that. I, I like to outline games in which I think the, the sieves are like most fun to play and duplicatable for people to, to, to imitate. Because, again, I feel like that's a really good way to learn this game. Um, I mean, there are some sieves that just kind of don't lend to anything in particular. So... But I, I kind of don't go out of my way to do that sort of thing. Yo, Harald, thank you so much for the 12 months, dude. That's crazy. I appreciate it very, very much. 12 months. Wow, time goes fast. Absolutely, it does. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, welcome on in. Welcome on back. I appreciate it. I'm going to skip this for now. I want to keep... Actually, am I building any builders? No, I'm done settling cities. I can get builders soon. You want me to do a late game start? It's really broken. We can do one. Remind me. Let's let's do one sometime soon. Cuz I I, I will sh I will demonstrate how freaking broken late game starts are. It's 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 pretty silly. It's pretty darn silly. What was I going to put in here? This think how's it broken uh like <laughs> expansion if you understand locking in district mechanics you can basically do what we try to do in our games except have borders um builders the ability to lock in a ton of districts right away like it's it's crazy what you can do and and abuse the production um mechanics this is what I want to add. You know, that was a good question from yesterday. And uh, I, 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 I don't know. I really don't know. I, I like have to sit down and like look at like previous leaders or like other leaders that like I, I would want. You know, I don't know. I got to fix that. I took my tile. <laughs> yeah, I got half an answer. Like, I mean, I always say the Native American civs because I like them. So, campus is going to go there for you. Need to buy you. Need to buy you. Need to buy eventually this. Um, oh, I need to buy these as well. Son of a gun. Start you on a trader then. As opposed to a builder. I'm not going to get any of these. 
No, no, no. I, I don't think I don't think late game starts are the way the game is intended to be played. So I, I have no problem with them kind of being broken. Well, we got to pop five. What save do I think is the most broken? Um, I don't know that I really consider anybody to be that broken uh, at the moment. I think Russia is quite powerful. Um, but I wouldn't ever want to see them nerfed. I would want to see other civs that are poor brought up to their level. I, I, I mean, you can check out my list of ranks and, and see exactly how I rank them. Um, so I, uh, you could argue that Persia's broken because they're at the top of the list. Uh, but I, I, don't think, I don't think they're like broken in that they need to be nerfed. Am I really trading you horses? Maybe it'll make you like me more. Seems okay. Just do that. We'll try to re-up friendship here. I feel like there's a Firaxis spy in chat today. They don't need to spy here. They're welcome here anytime. I think these are just questions that are, are burning in people's minds. Quality commercial hub. A free city's horseman. It's not cool, man. All right. Um, so five turns to exploration. So turn 114. Government, that's almost done. We need a ton of builders here pretty soon. And I need to start getting some like theater squares and other such districts. Uh, probably campus goes here for them. I'm gonna start builders. Can I trade for, for iron for some upgrades? I'm not too worried about it. Like this is gonna flip pretty quickly. Like I, I'm not, I'm not gonna have enough time to make this a sword and take down the city, so I'm just gonna leave it. I don't want to spend my gold there. Um, I'd actually rather be buying tiles, so that I can plant these districts that I want to get. And again, locking in districts being a thing. We get our plus four campus over there. Lock it in, but I do want to finish that trader. Seems okay. Having a discussion in Discord of the the ability to capture other people's great people and or kill admirals or generals. What are your thoughts? Um. I think, I don't know, man, that, that's a tricky one. Like, I would say no, like my knee jerk would be like, no, I don't want to see that just because th this is so powerful. 
Um, I mean, yeah, okay, you have to protect it, but then it just becomes a game of capture the flag, right? Like go after go after any si- or any unit that's sitting on the general, kill the general, and you're good to go. I think war is hard enough already. Um, I, 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 I think I think combat is actually pretty balanced in this game. Um, so I'm not too worried about it. Dirty Third Coast, what does it mean to lock in a district? It means to place the district and then continue building in something else. So this is locked in. What's locked in about it is the cost because the cost of districts rise as the game goes on and as you get more of districts of that type, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And so instead of deciding to build that um, campus in seven turns when maybe it's maybe it costs five production more maybe it's not a huge deal uh, but with Germany you can mul- lock in multiple districts at a time and so you really get the option to uh, to take advantage of that mechanic Ooh. Okay. Good. I don't want this one. That's all yours, Macedon. Uh, and we're about to get a scientist, so that's good. Build two harbors. Yeah, let's just tech through this. Go right up this route. Hey, Sacrador. How you doing, buddy? Oh, jeez, Abba. <laughs> I have to build Rur here. Uh, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. All right. Hopefully no more floods now. Um, I guess this engineer could be used for Chichen, as that's kind of next on my priority list. If you're not doing war, should you build encampments? I have an encampment planned, even though I'm not doing war. Um, they give you housing production and... Um, um, Obviously, generals. Uh, but they also... Housing and production, and then give me the ability to run the card that gives me 15% production towards uh, space projects in cities that have the military academy. So, in in some cases, you can. Um, I don't mind them defensively. Uh, but really, if you are doing more, you want early encampments to get all the generals. All right. It is builder time, although not quite. Can't even afford this. I guess get the water mill. Uh, and yeah, for strategic, you're right. That uh, that 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 portion of it too is the strategic production or the strategic capacity, um, and being able to have a lot of uh, aluminum for a space race matters. So there's that as well. We're already at 74 era score and looking for 88 for a golden age. It's about to rebel. They're going to have to get walls next then. Nice encampment, bro. And if you're new to Civ, like, don't worry about locking in districts. It, it, don't worry about it. Actually, I want to go here and repair. All right, so three turns on a, on a, on this. Three turns on this. Another trade route. I guess I'll go ahead and get the workshop. Yeah, we've got a lot of broken stuff to fix, actually. There's this. There's that. We have a lot of builders that we're gonna need here in a minute. So this is my Chichen tile. So I'm going to buy it. Just going to go ahead and work on that. Probably get these things first. Especially since we're under the... Uh, we have a few more turns left of building those more quickly. Cat was trying to type to me. Aww. <laughs> Hi, kitty. When you lock in a district, you lose the ability to work it. Yeah, you can't work that tile anymore. Yep, it's a dead tile. Or it becomes one. Here, I want to work on a builder. 
Oh, that's stabilized. Interesting. Anything less than six rainforest tiles in a city is a waste for Chichen. Yeah, you certainly, certainly six would be like the bare minimum. This is three, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten? Ten's, ten's okay. Ten's pretty good. Maybe we can take this. It seems to have stabilized there, so that's interesting. Is there a downside to locking in districts you can't build? Um, uh, so, so if you lock in your districts, you, you lose the ability to change your mind or get a different district based on population of the city. Yeah, that's true. Um, but that's where like good planning comes into play, right? Like we, we spend a lot of time to, to some people's utter dismay planning our cities and, 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 and talking about them and figuring out the optimal way uh, or at least a close to optimal way of doing it. Um, and so I think, I think doing that is actually, it behooves you. So you don't have to worry about that. All right, now I'm going after builders. Three turns, we're gonna switch into the builder uh, charge policy in a second. So that times out pretty well. Back to 12 turns here. I wonder if crossbows would be enough for this to happen. So that has now rebelled. I'll rip my trade route. That's a bit irritating. <laughs> oh, crap. All right. I guess there was an archer there. I didn't see it. All right, so we will want to get a holy site just for this, I guess, at some point. Could also have passed it, but... <laughs> nice, Kagaga. Good luck, my friend. So we got our walls. That's good. Uh, really just torn about these workshops. No, Germany does not get a bonus against free cities. Just city-states. Okay. Ouchies. All right, end of the era triggered, so we have 10 turns to figure out our era score, but we're about to get a bunch. We stop exploring. So we switch into this. We get the appropriate legacy card. That's fantastic. We may want to be running that immediately. Checking in on our happiness levels. Yeah, they're pretty low. So um, we have our extra military policy slot. Not bad. Um... Done with that. We certainly want our builder policy. We'll go that route. Should be okay. All right, and then now we head down for Chichen. We got the boost, which is nice. We're only six turns away, and then hopefully we can get a nice spike of culture. Because our economy is no. I've I, we've been at this stage of the game with over a hundred science easily. 
Uh, and that's just all quite delayed. So we're going to want that. Of a 14. I'll go ahead and one turn some walls here. And then we'll get the campus going. Did Gilgabra? I didn't notice if he got a XP from attacking a free city. I have no idea. I did not pay attention. Campus is next. Although builders should also be a priority. So we should look at that. Can chop out some things. So eventually, it'll be there. And I think he might be fighting a cod. Double points for scientists. Let's go. Could also do double points for engineers. Actually, you know what? I weirdly like that. We have so many Hanzas. COD, Call of Duty? Is that what you're... A cod? You mean the city state? Wait, is that what you a cod? No, he's fighting a cod. This is a cod. <laughs> That's awesome. We just did an Abbott Costello bit. Who's on first, Chimera? Wow, no merchant points. What? That's random. That's pretty random. Okay, anywho. So that'll go there eventually. Um, can afford some tiles now. I actually really want this theater square. Get your good districts when they stand out to you. Yes, this is a good campus as well. Um, but I am lacking in a plus four theater square. Sounds great to me. Um, and we could also lock in. No, I can't because I can't afford it. Can't afford it. Um, yep. Boop. We need seven more era score. Um, seven more era score. What are we going to build that's going to give us that? I could build that holy site. That would take care of three of it. A boat would work, but we're already up to caravels. So it's not the cheapest way to do it. Although, yes, certainly an option. Um, could get a horseman. Could maybe get swordsman or something. Yeah, this theater square will be. Yep, you're absolutely right. 
And that'll be done in two, so that's good. So finish that commercial hub. I almost like the idea of getting this theater square. So that would be six of the seven that we need. Uh, Alexi, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Welcome on in. Appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I I can't afford both of these purchases yet. I guess. I don't know. Let's see if I can chop that out and get it get that holy site. This is flipping to me, which is a little bit shocking. And we're only, it's only going to get better for us because we're going to go into a golden age. Now, of course, they could as well, and then it could maybe be, it maybe be moot, but. We don't get XP for killing these, so healing and having my units down here be healthy is rather important just so they don't die. Amenities should be decent. Happy. Hotspur, thank you for the gifted sub. Welcome in, Daniel Craig. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Hotspur now owns Daniel Craig's. <laughs> I, I can't accept this sub. I can't. Daniel Craig, you're a bad person. Stop being a bad person and I'll accept your sub. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're watching over on YouTube, I appreciate it a whole lot. Uh, don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic where you too can participate in shenanigans and silliness and basically my stupid bits. See you then. <laughs>